A couple streaks looking for an end. The Philadelphia Phillies, who had lost 19 of their last 25 games, going back to last fall, against the sophomore Tom Browning, the pitcher who beat every team in the league last year for Cincinnati, except Philadelphia. Cold night in Cincinnati. Larry An <laughs> Anderson in earmuffs. They don't make helmets like that. Low 40s in Cincinnati. Eric Davis leads off the first inning for the Reds, and he promptly homers to left field, makes it 1-0. Anything cold about that young man's bat. After the Phillies tied in the third, it was a defensive battle the rest of the way. Buddy Bell, the great diving grab here in foul territory for the out. Tenth inning, same kind of business. Phils have men on third. Uh, Pete Rose looking on nervously as Bo Diaz has the pitch get away. He scrambles back, throws to John Franco, who makes the tag on John Russell for the third out. It keeps the game tied. Well, we go to the 11th, and that's where they won it. Phillies busted wide open. They score four runs. John Russell, who was part of the hero in that bottom of the inning, comes back, hits the two-run tater to cap the inning, and it sure was needed. They needed every one of those runs as the Reds came back to score two runs in their side of the 11th inning. The Phils hold on, however, to win it 5-3, their first victory of the season, the Reds' first loss of this season.